CBLT, Cobalt, Peter Clausy Projects. Where do we start, Peter? Well, let's start with capital because that's the lifeblood of, our, of, our, uh, of this whole industry. It's a tough time for capital. But we saw this coming a couple of years ago. The board got together and decided we would liquid, liquidate a couple of the assets for cash. Now, if we were wrong and the hard times didn't come, we're a company with cash in the bank. And if we are right and the hard times come, we're a company with cash in the bank. So right now we have cash in the bank, we have hard dollars, and we have flow through to get some work done this year. Of course, we've heard cash in the bank, but three competitive elements. You're in the elevator. Why should investors out there pull up their sleeves and go CBLT, CBLT, what are the competitive advantages? CBLT has been in existence for 15 years now and there's still only 75 million shares out because we don't do hard dollar financings. We've been able to make the company survive on successful M&A, de-risking projects with the pen. In our belief, you can make more money with the pen than with the drill bit at last risk. And seeing how we only have 75 million shares out after 15 years, that's pretty good proof of that. Okay, so we've got M&A deals with the pen Where's your pen on your shirt? Well, it's been busy PDAC talking and listening. Uh, and we have lovely properties. We have properties across Canada. We have properties across the mineral spectrum. And we try to think ahead. What's going to be hot, not next week, but next summer? What's going to be hot next year? Put work into that project and make it look really good. Now, if we, if we work a gold project, we're able to convert it to a producing mine. Fantastic. Like we're looking to get the Sudbury this year where we've finally been able to assemble the historic Falcon Gold Mine. There were three pieces. We were missing the middle piece and we closed on it this year. And we have sufficient flow through to go in and do a first round of sampling and mapping of the old Falcon Gold Mine. When I mention this, people say, there's no Falcon Gold Mine in Ontario. That's because it's on patented lands and all the past owners kept the news to themselves. As the current owner, we've been able to liberate some information from the government of Ontario and a couple of other sources. And because it's not 43101, we can't disclose what those numbers are. But we're very happy with them. and We're eager to get back in and do some sampling and mapping. Okay, so shareholders out there who are looking for an M&A play as projects, what projects would you say you're, you know, obviously this is one of the projects that you're highlighting, but what other projects? Because clearly you have an entire- We have Michaela in, uh, British Columbia. We have a lovely lithium property beside the Tanko mine in Manitoba. We have Big Duck Lake, which is West Hemlo. We have Copper Prince and Falcon Gold up. It's actually in the city of Sudbury, which always makes me laugh that you can have a producing mine in the city of Sudbury. Um, we have a former producing mine just outside Sudbury called Geneva Lake, which supported Canada's war effort from 1941 to 44, I believe. Uh, we've also optioned a lovely cobalt chromium property in, in Quebec. Work has been done on that by the optionee, um, increasing our value in it, of course. And finally, we have a property in Newfoundland that may or may not be a large porphyry. It's beside the former producing duck pond mine. And smarter people than me tell me that it's looking like geology. Well, at PDAC, of course, I've seen kind of an entourage around you <laughs> since, <laughs> since it started. And you're kind of like the America's Got Talent for the resource sector. How does someone bring a deal to you, Peter? How do they reach you? I Call me, email me, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. Oh, no, not LinkedIn. Any one of the other platforms. I'm very easy to find or call you, and you know how to find me. And because of your extensive experience and knowledge in this industry, is there a critical mineral, for instance, or gold? What is a hot button for you, for you getting more interested in a deal when they speed dial you? I'm going to say something that's not going to be very popular with most of the crowd. I don't think that picking a critical mineral right now is going to be very rewarding. I think the only critical mineral that matters is copper. As our friend Jack Lifton has said, it's the only technology metal. Battery metals will, batteries will pr evolve in their technology. What works today isn't going to work in 20 years. So I don't see the reason to invest millions and billions of dollars into something that'll be obsolete in 20 years. But the one thing that isn't going to be obsolete is our friend Copper. 
So you've heard it here. Copper, you got a copper deal and you got a pen, call Peter Quasi. And so what should shareholders anticipate in this upcoming quarter or two? We'll have results from the Falcon Gold Mines mapping and sampling program. Um, those should be exciting. We are looking at other m and activity right now. Uh, here at PDAC, we've had several good conversations. And these aren't soft conversations. These are more advanced type conversations. And if we have to raise further flow through, we will to be able to get the work done on good assets. For more information on CBLT, go to their website or email Peter Clausey. Thank you for joining me Thanks today. For Thanks for your time.